Welcome back. Juliana Sproles checking in for beeswax tea light candle making. I'm about to pour this Pettifor pan of 15 tea light refill candles. These are 100% beeswax and I'm going to hand pour them carefully from this copper pitcher. So I prepared the Pettifor pan by putting the primed wick and wick tabs into each Pettifor place. Each little hole has its wick adhered to the bottom with some with a glue gun, with hot glue. So I glued in the wick tabs. I'll show that in a separate video. And I have spacers gently placed here on top so that the wick sustainer, well, actually, I need a little more space because my wit, my wax is melting into my spacers and, um, well, the first one. Anyway, you'll see. Here, we'll keep going. It's harder to pour where I am because I'm trying to make the video and, um, I have to pour over the center of the table. Usually I pour on the edge of the table so I can reach better, but that's okay. We will carry on. And I do not have my glasses on, so it's a little harder to see. However, this is the first time I've used my copper pouring pitcher and I love it. I'm able to get a nice spout of wax. Let's see if I can reach these back ones here. And I can direct my wax right where I need it to go. Candle pour pot it was cooling the wax. It was cooling the wax too quickly, and so I wasn't able to keep it hot enough. Let's see if I can do a couple more here. Or these last ones. Some people pour them very messily, like that one I just poured messy. I just don't like to waste the wax. There. All right, so they've all been poured now. If I carefully make sure that we're trying to make sure that the wick spacer isn't sunken down into the wax which it will be on a couple of them like this one sunk down these other ones have space As I said, I'll show this in another video. 
but the idea is to try to keep our wicks in the center of the candle. These tea light refills are the hardest ones that I make. because I haven't perfected my plan just yet. That's okay. I have a contraption to where I can pull the wicks up and tie them onto something. It's just very hard to pour. Some of these will be fine. And again, for refills, they don't have to be perfect necessarily. I do better in smaller batches. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to stop messing with these and let them cool for a moment here. I'll let the video run so that we can see what they look like when they come out. There's always a way to fix and smooth out the wax as well. I keep these little pieces of wax that come off and I just drop them right back into the big pot of wax. Waste not, want not, candles and gifts. All right, so some of these wicks are centered. I made the wicks twice as long as they needed to be because now I can cut this wick off and it'll be ready to put back in for my next batch. It'll be just the right height. So these are cooling very rapidly here in the garage on Sunday morning, March 22nd, 2020. All right, so these are set enough. Let's take apart my toothpicks that have been wrapped together with a piece of tape. I use them as spacers to keep my wicks centered, otherwise usually the wicks will just fall over when the hot wax hits them. So this was the first one I did, it has a mark right here, but we can just shave that off with a tool in a moment. separate my toothpicks, separate the toothpicks, Separate the toothpick and gently pull it off so it doesn't pull the wick. To be very careful that we don't pull our wicks out. These, this Pedifor pan of candle, beeswax candle tea lights is quite delicate, I have to say. But then beeswax is actually very durable. It will harden nicely and it'll be very durable in a minute once I get all this mess. I created a little bit of a mess here just because I'm trying to videotape this I've been having trouble candle making and videotaping but hey everyday life is the adventure and we're letting go of perfectionist tendencies ha 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 Let's see how we did here. All right. Now. 
looking pretty good. Um, I have a few messy ones. But I'll use these for ceremonial purposes. They don't have to be perfect. The ones for sale, obviously, I wouldn't be taking a video while I was doing them unless the person I was making for them for did not really care about marks on top of their candles. So I could actually heat these and smooth them out. Really, we did okay. I can shave this down. All right. So I'll just show what they look like. From the top, see, not perfect, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and lift this one out so you can see. as it cools. So it's starting to get darker in color, and see I just put a little bit of glue, hot glue, for the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and trim it. We want the wick to be fairly short. So now I have this piece that I can use to put another primed piece of wick in. And I will crimp it. like so, flatten it out a little bit, and then it'll go right back in here. So I will glue that in for my next candle pouring session. And I'll show you the size of this tea light. Fits nicely. Tea light refill. 100% beeswax helps clean the air during candles for coronavirus. Juliana Sproles signing out.